Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Shroud from PC Perspective here with the second part and conclusion to our AMD Radeon RX 460 based budget build uh, project and contest. Uh, in the previous video last week, we talked about our component selection, uh, went through kind of the unboxing process of all the different components. Today we have kind of the final build. We have everything kind of prepared for you. We went ahead and did the system build. We've hooked up uh, installed Windows, hooked up our, our FreeSync display, been playing some games on it, and we have uh, some results and, and some impressions that I think you'll find pretty interesting. So I'm going to do a quick recap of the components we've got here. Uh, obviously, if you want a little bit more deep down, uh, deep dive into what we picked and why we picked those components, go check out the previous article that will be linked either in the show description or on the PCPro.com page uh, that you're looking at this video on. Um, obviously, the, this was a, a project put forth and sponsored by AMD, and they kind of wanted us to be able to use and build a PC around the Radeon RX 460 uh, and see what kind of gaming performance and 1080p capability you could get out of a budget-minded video card that's under $100 and sometimes under $90 if you look and find uh, with rebates. Um, so this is a uh, Corsair 88R, Carbide Series 88R chassis. Uh, the build process in that was, was pretty straightforward. Um, thumb screws on, the, on both uh, back and front panel uh, doors. Had, had room to mount SSDs, room to mount hard drives. Uh, the cable routing uh, was, was pretty well done. And even though we use an EVGA 500B 500 watt power supply uh, that is non-modular, I still think our cable uh, kind of wiring and, and, and routing and everything actually looks pretty clean for a build that I honestly didn't spend that much time kind of, uh, of perfecting. Uh, inside that case, we have all the components, including our Intel Core i3-6100 processor, dual-core, hyper-threaded part, uh, 100 bucks or so, $109 uh, when, we, when we purchased it. And it is installed on an Asus H110 chipset motherboard. Now, everything in this works flawlessly. It's a micro-ATX case for a micro-ATX motherboard. Uh, mounting the processor, installing the memory, getting the uh, Cryorg or Cryorig M9i cooler in there uh, was pretty straightforward. The installing those types of coolers is always a little bit um, hit or miss because you, you need to follow the directions very specifically. Orientation matters, uh, and in the build process, I found that out to be uh, be the case as well. But once we got it in there, you know, idle temperatures were fantastic. Low temperatures were fantastic. I think idles like under 25C. Uh, much better than you would get with the stock cooler on that particular processor. We've got 8 gigs of memory in here running a dual channel configuration, uh, 240 gig SanDisk SSD, which is uh, installed Windows and loading up our games incredibly quickly. No complaints there. We've got that one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive uh, for, for added storage. Um, and again, our, our graphics card of choice here is an XFX branded Radeon RX 460 two gigabyte card uh, with a six pin power connector. Some don't have six pins, but if you want to do some overclocking, uh, maybe do some unlocking capabilities on this particular card, having that six pin power auxiliary connection is going to be beneficial for you. So um, the, the, like I said, the build process and everything was pretty straightforward. Um, we're not going to go over the specifics of step by step on how to make the PC if this is your first time building one. Uh, we have a different video uh, on our YouTube channel as well as uh, on PCPro.com that kind of details the step by step process for a generic PC build of which this will fit into moderately well. So if you have any questions on that, you can either leave them in the comments on the video or on the article and I'm sure we'll get some people to help you out there. Um, if we look at gaming performance, this is really the focus of this project, right? Is could the Radeon RX 460 and a, and a sub $550 PC really present a, a usable gaming experience that I was, was happy to play? And the truth is, uh, it was better than I expected. Um, I ran through a handful of games. I did uh, played Rocket League at 1080p at the high quality presets and was able to get you know, 90 to 110 frames per second, meaning that you either were running at a higher frame rate um, on like a 144 hertz display like this one, or you, know, you could increase the image quality settings a little bit more, but the game played very well. Uh, it looked really good, um, and I had no problems with the gaming experience uh, that it provided at all. It was, it was, it was stellar. Uh, a game like Overwatch, at 1080p, at the high quality preset, we were still around 100 to 110 frames per second playing that game as well. One of the most popular um, multiplayer shooters in the world right now. Um, the 460 has no problems running through 
uh, multiplayer sessions with that game. Again, pretty impressive. We're not maxing out settings here, but that's kind of, you know, there are other products from AMD to do that. If you want a 470 or 480 or you get into the Fury lines, you can do that. But the 460 is, is more than competent of playing 1080p games. Uh, we played Doom, a, a flagship, a staple for AMD. 1080p using the Vulkan API in this case. At the low quality preset, we range anywhere from 65 to 90 frames per second in our gameplay throughput, and it still looks pretty good. It didn't look as good as you could make it look on an RX 480 or on a Fury X card or something like that, but it looked great for a sub $100 video card kind of powering it all uh, out of the gate. And then one of the more interesting examples was we played The Witness, uh, and this was at 1080p at the high quality preset, and there our frame rates were in the 45 to 60 FPS range, which are maybe a bit lower than ideal, and if you would set it to the medium quality preset, you would be above 60 for sure, but it was a perfect place to demonstrate the capabilities and benefits of a FreeSync monitor, because whereas on a static refresh rate display, uh, 45 to 50 frames per second would be pretty hard to look at, a lot of judder or stutter and or horizontal tearing with FreeSync on. Uh, that was definitely not the case, and it was a very smooth uh, uh, gaming experience, even at a slightly lower frame rate in that particular game. So the, the overall consensus here is, we, you know, we went through a couple of other games as well, is that the RX 460 isn't going to win any, any records. It's not going to run any benchmark records, uh, and, and there's definitely higher performance graphic cards out there. But if you are upgrading an OEM machine, or you are building a low-cost budget box, it provides a damn good gaming experience for a sub $100 GPU. It's, it's pretty impressive. If we look at the system as a whole productivity-wise, you've got tons of performance here. It is a dual-core processor, but it is hyper-threaded, so you get the benefits of four threads there. Um, Productivity was no issue, were, were no issues there. You know, web browsing, obviously not a problem if you wanted to do basic video or photo editing. Um, that was taken care of. If you hit, run any applications that are OpenCL or Compute Accelerated, the RX 460 is going to help you with that as well. So another benefit of having that discrete GPU in there is its capability to improve other non-gaming applications uh, to boot. And if you wanted to do multi-display, uh, this particular video card has a display port, an HDMI, and a DVI connection, so you could get three displays hooked up to it. Uh, and I think there's one or two RX 460 options out there that might have four display uh, connectivity options as well. All of this you get for, uh, per our build, about four hundred and I'm sorry, $545 or so, depending on what day you look, prices are going to vary, uh, not including the Nixius FreeSync monitor. We did have some commentary from our first video that this monitor seemed kind of outside the bounds of price uh, compared to the system. And I totally agree with you. A $250 monitor on a $550 system might seem a little uh, you know, skewed towards that direction. But again, the idea was that the monitor would be something that stays with you through several builds and or hey, pass on it for now, maybe uh, invest in a display a little bit later, you've already got a 1080p monitor on your desk, uh, you can get this entire system for under $550 and get a, a impressive uh, gaming capability uh, out of the box and you get the fun uh, of building your own system as well. Now, with all that out of the way, uh, I can say that I'm more impressed with the RX 460 than I thought I was going to be. And uh, AMD kind of put us up to this build with that in mind. I think they kind of knew what, uh, what product they had and how it was going to stand. And, and there are lots of people who say, oh, spend the extra money and buy an RX 470 or spend the extra money and buy an RX 460. And absolutely, if you have the money to do it, you're going to get a better experience with those different products. But if you are on a budget, if you are uh, restricted in that way monetarily, this is still going to provide an excellent, excellent uh, platform for you to play super modern games like Doom, as well as puzzle-based games like The Witness and multiplayer games like Overwatch. Now, how can you win this computer? This is what you guys are all here for. You don't have to lie to me. I Look, I understand you guys. We're going to give away this whole system, every piece of hardware that we put together in it, uh, and we will have the contest listed, linked, in the description of this video on YouTube, as well as on the pcper.com uh, PCper page uh, itself. Um, if you go to pcper.com slash rx460 contest, that's where we'll have the link on how you can actually win this system. We'll give you a couple of weeks to enter. It'll be a couple of interesting ways for you to enter. Um, none, of, none of them requiring registration of any particular kind, but uh, uh, you'll be able to 
to enter in for your chance to win this. And we obviously want to thank AMD for sponsoring uh, this article series and video series. It was them that, that gave us the budget to build this machine and put it together and kind of do this demo and work uh, for you guys. I hope, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you thank them in the comments as well. And even if you don't win this system, at least if you uh, are, are that budget-minded gamer, you can consider the Radeon RX 460. Thanks, guys. Uh, make sure you go to PCPro.com and check out all the other articles we have for those budget-minded gamers out there, as well as checking out uh, the rest of our YouTube channel as well. Uh, thank you, guys. Thanks, AMD, and we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this content, consider supporting in-depth technical content by contributing at patreon.com slash PCPer.